Hi guys, so I hope you are well and how are you doing? I'm going to make some things to go in these pockets that we made yesterday. So I'm just looking around, I've got the same old mess on my table, haven't tidied up because I might need the things. And um, yeah, I've got a few of these collage um, pages that I had done a while back. I haven't used yet so I thought maybe some of these might fit in like that one's going to fit in there so I could put something there or could go that no that I think I would prefer it to go that way so let's focus on this one first and okay so you don't need too much on these because they've already they're already um they're already decorated you know the background's already done that's what i'm trying to say so i just wanted to grab you know i've dropped something thought maybe something like this got that one already ripped up let's just tear this So how is everybody today? I hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look. So if I were to put that on there, and you'd be able to see the flowers there, so that one's going to be good. So it covers up most of the background, which is fine. And this side I haven't done anything because I left these so that I could decide if they were going to be pockets or um, if they were going to be tags. So I think I've decided they're going to be tags in this case scenario. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back and back it with a pretty paper. Right. Like so, and then trim. Pretty. And we're going to put a little topper on it. So we could put one of um, these from Medieval Mirage that is super pretty. Uh, I think I might like the one with the script. Oh, I like that. So that's that, and that is going in here. Oh, it's a little bit taller than what I thought. Okay, well, we'll try it in the other ones. Oh, it might be good in this one. Go on that one. That one's that way. It's that way. Oh, I think I like it in this one. 
I'm going to put it in here. Okay. Well, that one's going to go in there, I think. Okay, so one done. Right. So I might need to trim them down a little bit sometimes to make them fit. Okay. So first of all, let's get our tag fitting. So that fits there. Good. I might just trim a tiny... Well, I can trim a bit off when I back it. So what will we put on this one? Quite like this now. Tear around it. Okay, I do like the owl. I'm going to put the owl there. Now I'm just thinking if I want a little bit of paper behind the owl. No, not that one. A little border going down the side, like that, which I do quite like. I just felt like it needed a, like a stronger sort of colour. Put that there. I'm just going to grab my... Just slide the owl down a little bit and trim off because um, I'm thinking I probably won't be able to see it otherwise in my pocket. And I'm going to have a little Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals label. I really like doing these kind of things. <clears throat> down there now I did want to just oh at first I said I was going to back it then I'm going to trim it down and we might use some more of this lovely paper I think it's going to fit there perfectly yes And I have intended it to go in this certain particular pocket, but, you know, you could test them in different pockets to see which one you like the best. could audition the pockets. And I did want to trim a little bit extra off just to make sure it's going to fit. And we have, I want to put a topper on it, I think. I will want to do that. So I'm thinking I might grab, if I can, this... that on there I think use this glue okay and then on that side I might Tear this down and just glue a little piece of paper there like that. Tear it down a bit further. 
just to make sure it stays in place. Yeah, I like that. So that's that. And then, I'll see if it fits in here. And it does. And let's see how we see the owl. Not very well. I'm not very good at this. Oh, no, it's kind of cute. He's peeking out there. So I think that's what's going to go in there. I'll just pull it out so it dries and doesn't stick in the pocket. So those two are done. I'll pull this one out too. I'll probably stitch around them as well. So I'll put those two over on the side and then I'll show you afterwards what I've done. Now this one here is opening there. Oh, this just refuses to stick down. I've put so much glue there. Try again with this glue. Maybe I didn't put enough. Hey, we'll try, try, and try again. So that one opens at the tops. So what am I going to have there? I need to find something that's going to fit in, and it's going to be kind of annoying because I might open it again. So that fits there. But I think I'll have it that way So because I'll put something here, but I don't want to cover up... Um, that part there so let me just have a look what I have floating around so we could have those people but you'll only see that bit there have these um, maybe that third might be nice Now, I don't see my little scissors. I'm in that much of a mess that I cannot see where my little scissors are. Here they are, right in front of me, just under the box. So I'll give this, a this one a little cut. Bring the basket over. That out, get this with it here. Okay. However, then I lose the birds' tail. So that one's no good after all of that. Um. I have these from Jaff. Hmm, she might be good. Let's just tear around her. So Jaff is Medieval Mirage on Etsy. And this is her, I think it's Illuminated Renaissance or something like that kit. Oh yeah, I like that better. So we'll glue that on there. And let's just have a look. Oh, yes, that's going to be good. Okay, so I need to back it. Everything's flying around everywhere. Okay. 
Okay. Right. I'll put that one there. Okay, so that's there. And do I want what do I want to put at the top? I think I'm going to put this one. So, yeah, I like to cut the bottom. You know, the longer side off and then I fold them line them up fold them Oops. like so and then I cut them there it makes it much easier yeah that's going to be pretty I'll put that one there And that's going to slide in there now. Do you think that's dry? Probably. And that will go in there. Cool. So I'll put that one aside. Okay, what's next? I don't need to do anything for that one. That one can um, have something at another date. Now, I also have these that would be good now this one is oh it's going that way so that one's got to go that way so I don't want one of those I want a journal card now this one could be good small though so what else could I have let me think about this these are all small So if I were to put um, a journal card in there, I can have that bird there. Mm, postcards. Let's have a look at my postcards. I'm looking for a plain one, I think. I don't know if I've got them in here or another one. So that one could be pretty in there. Oh, that one might be good. one's too big
Here we go. Let's have a look at these. Okay, I'll put those aside and I'm just going to back this. I might collage on it. There are lots of collagey bits here, so we might as well collage on the back. Okay, so we'll put that there. Okay, so that's there. And then what will we have? piece of this and we'll put that no not that piece um that piece There we go. Let's hope it fits in there. I don't know if it's going to. No, it's not going to because of the glue. Oh, quite a bit shorter. So that's not going to fit in there. Won't fit in that one either. <laughs> well, I could just put it in there sideways. Oh, yeah, that's, that's working. Or... And I think I like the colours with this one. So that's going to go in there sideways. Okay. Put that one over there. We've still got to do something for this. I think I like this one in here. Yep, I do. So I'll make that one up to go in there. It will just collage on the back again. Everything is sticking to itself. What have I got here? No, that's a tab. We're going to put some of this. So that's going there, and then I need something shooting down the side.
a little piece of this. Okay, so I'll put that there. Okay, so we can trim this one down. Sometimes I like to collage on the back of them and then you get the nice surprise of what it's going to look like. See? Cute. And that is going to go in there. Cute. Okay, next. Now that's quite a big one, isn't it? So let me just see what I've got here. I don't have anything going in that direction, really. Check these big tags. See what I've got here. I'm just going to tear down this so this was a page that I had made when I was doing my um, ephemera kits and I didn't feel this was a from the graphics fairy and I put that pattern behind but then I don't know why I just didn't end up using it so that's not going to be big enough for that one but it could go in this one okay we'll put it in that one but I need to well actually No, none of those big enough. So, but what will I put on this? I could put this bird. But I don't think you'll be able to see it. No, you'll be able to see the bird. this in that way and then what will I put on that I think that will be better just have that on there I think after all that umming and ahhing I've gone with a more simple solution Yep, I like that on there. Mm. And that's going to go in which one was it? This one. 
And I don't mind that. I think that's pretty there. Or will I put it in this one? No, that needs a bigger one. This one. Oh, yeah. There. That's where it's going. In there. Now, here... I'm just tearing this page down and this is from my Italian church's kit I'm thinking that pretty pattern could show there or in that one so I think we'll glue this onto where's my book onto some book page it's just on regular copy paper and so it's not very strong to be a tag or journal card glue it on there actually I'm going to lose my edges doesn't matter just trim it off Now we're going to put a backing on it. Aha! This is going to be a good one for one as well. Or this one. And... I think I'll back that one with this. So sometimes look at your papers to find maybe there's something that you can tear down and make a tag out or journal card out of. Just double checking which side I wanted. That was this one. Because that, those would probably be really good. You see, I might just get my cutter and cut it down so it's nice and cut properly. Okay, so this could be an option in the sense you just get that pretty paper down there and be sticking out like that. That could be an option. So there's one. Or I was thinking this one or why don't we do this one that's already been cut down. So let me see here. So if I, oh yes, if I tear that down there. I'll probably end up just trimming it with my cutter anyway, but I'm just doing this because it's quite quick to do it this way. And I'm thinking I'm going to make it a journal card, so we will lose that bit up there, or most of it. I can use that somewhere else, and we're going to glue it to our paper. So get there in the end. Just have to faff about a little bit. Okay. And I'm pretty quiet these last few days. I haven't really been doing anything very exciting. That's what it is. All I've been doing is, you know, doing worky sort of stuff and chatting on the phone. That's all I've been doing, really. Nothing exciting at all. Okay, 
so that's that. I just want to see how it fits. Great. Oh, I'll make, an, I'll make another one from the other one out of that. So I need to back it. Um, and I, well, I'll back it and then I'll trim it down again. So do I have anything over here to back with? Otherwise. Might back put back it with this one with the straw cover. Haven't been using that very much. Put that there. Just cut it out. I'm going to get my cutter out again and uh, just trim it. Properly. I need to trim it down a little bit just so it's a little bit easier to slide in. Let me see here if I want to put some sort of pretty label. I don't think we need one of these with the seam on it. No, I think we'll just leave it. Let's just try this one. No, I think I'll leave it. Okay, we'll put a topper on it, but not right now. Um, I'm just going to slip it in here so you can see what that one's going to look like. And I just got that. It's getting stuck to the window. I just got that from one of my papers. And it will have a topper on so it's easier to pull out there. And then that's that one. But I think I'm going to change that one. I'm actually going to make this. Yeah, I'll make that one into a tag, I think. So I'll just rip it out. But I'll just put a photograph at the, at, of that one at the end. And this one I can use for something else. I'll just um, put a topper on and stitch around. I might even round the corners or something. And here I'm going to have that scene in there. So I'll just tear it down. I don't. I think I'll probably have trouble sliding it in because it, uh, it's just on regular copy paper. Okay. Yep, that's going to be better. But it's just on regular copy paper, but you'll be able to see Venice there. Yep, that's going to be good. So that's going to go in there, and I'll tear it off around about here so it just peeks out the top i could leave it long but i'm choosing not to so that'll be made into a tag or journal card just like that one so let's just recap i made this this needs a topper this tag i didn't back that one that one and then i've got a postcard in there and here we have another postcard sideways but i like it because you can see the bird and then that doesn't have anything. This one's going to have this tag sliding in here. There. 
and then this tag it's still wet is sliding in that pocket there and then that's a similar one but they can go in different journals and that's sliding in there and that's doing that really easily so there we go so that is my video for today i'll put photographs now after after it finishes and i will see you again soon thank you for watching bye oh, i don't think i stopped you just a minute sorry guys